da 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 dang 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 dang. Ni hao, a game I'm mashing, mates. My feet smell. What happens when you buy cheap shoes? Let this be a lesson to you all. Anywho, this is just a super quick video about the Chinese Civil War. Part 2 explaining why the CCP1 will come later. Bruce Lee kick! <laughs> da -da 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 -dang 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 -dang. Chinese Civil War? The dropping of the atomic bombs ended the war in the Pacific before the KMT or the CCP was ready to take over control of China. Jiang had put the destruction of the communists as his top priority during the war. So much for a united front. But he had not achieved this. The nationalists held large areas in southern and central China, and the communists controlled the countryside in northern and northeastern China from their base in Yan'an. The situation was complicated further in August 1945, when the Soviet Union declared war on Japan and invaded Manchuria, hoping to gain control of the region. The Americans had recognized Jiang and the KMT as the real government in China, and insisted the Japanese surrender to the nationalists. The US had managed to get the nationalists and the communists to come together for talks, but these talks broke down and the communists left negotiations when the KMT tried to set up a new government, which gave almost all the power to themselves. Sneaky sneaky Jiang. By December 1945 both sides were at war, and by 1946 there was no chance of any negotiated agreement taking place. The struggle for control of China had begun. The KMT were the most likely to win the civil war on account that they had the bigger army and the Americans were providing financial aid and sending supplies. Three stages of war. The civil war can be divided into three main stages. One, between July 1946 to May 1947, the KMT was on top, capturing major cities in the north and establishing a route to Manchuria. The communists were losing and had lost Yan'an, so in response, reverted to guerrilla tactics, which proved highly successful, and by May 1947, the communists had control of Manchuria. The second stage of the conflict occurred between May 1947 and November 1948. Now in a stronger position, the communists switched from guerrilla tactics to conventional warfare, launching full-scale attacks against the nationalists, pushing into central and western China. KMT territory was shrinking rapidly and they were being cut off from the rest of China. The third and final stage took place between December 1948 and October 1949, with the most decisive campaign of the Civil War being the Battle of Huai Hai between November 1948 to January 1949. By now the nationalists had lost northern China, and Jiang was determined to not let the communists take the rest. Jiang chose to make a stand at Zhuzhou. Why? Because it linked central China to the KMT capital Nanjing via the Long Hai Railway and to the Great Port in Shanghai. The campaign was a disaster. Why? Because the communists were stronger due to KMT soldiers switching sides and they lacked aircraft to protect their forces. In addition, Mao had ordered the destruction of the area surrounding Zhuzhou, which meant the nationalists did not have enough food to feed their soldiers. Jiang refused to allow his army units to retreat, which led to a loss of 200,000 men. The battle ended on the 10th of January 1949. The Battle of Hua Hu was significant towards the CCP eventually winning the civil war for several reasons. It broke the strength of the nationalists and opened up central China to the communists. Two, the Americans stopped funding the nationalists, believing the money they had already sent had been wasted. By January 1949, the communists had taken control of large areas in northern China, including Beijing. They moved south and by late September 1949, they controlled most of China. On October 1st, 1949 in Tiananmen Square, Mao Zedong declared a new government, the People's Republic of China, with himself as leader. Jiang Kai-shek fled to Taiwan with 200,000 soldiers to set up an alternative government. 